Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the welterweight bout between Magomed Umalatov versus Naib Lopez. And this bout is in PFL, welterweight division, PFL, tournament, etc., etc. And how I feel about this one right here is I'm going lock confidence Magomed Umalatov to beat Naib Lopez. Um, Naib Lopez, in my honest opinion, is me as honest opinions. <laughs> in my honest opinion, um, Naib Lopez is mediocre in every of the game. Am I saying he's mediocre for where he's at in his career? You know, developmental phase, and like you know, coming off this, you know, the Mexican, I said Mexicans, but the Mexican circuit is pretty trash right now, in my opinion. You got a couple good fighters that come out there every now and then, but for the most part, this circuit is pretty trash right now. Flower trash. I will say to every one of the members, every single fighter, y'all is trash right now, but it's a developmental process. You're gonna get your every now and you get that shining talent from this region, that region, but it's a whole like level is terrible. It's flat out terrible. And Naye Lopez is undefeated in that terrible circuit. Oh, I say, like, you, I say, you, you could, Australia at some points was pretty weak. This Arkansas, pretty weak at points. But like, again, every now and then you're going to get some good talents out of this, out of that. But again, overall, the, the talent pool and the skill level is pretty mediocre. But yeah, a younger fighter coming up. But as of right now, where his skills at, it ain't that good. Could, definitely could develop, you know, give him two, three years. All of a sudden, you know, he come, becomes a much better mixed martial artist. And, you know, he gets to fight, you know, outside of that circuit. And, you know, gets a chance to develop, maybe move gyms, train here, train there. And, you know, get the right looks he needs and get the right time to develop. But right now, yeah, like he might as well have to be a guy that has an extensive amateur career. And maybe not even the most, hey, I'm talking too much. Either way, I saw his last fight. He, not even his last fight, one of the most recent fights. He was getting taken down by a guy who can't even breathe in the UFC. <laughs> like, like a guy that's pretty mediocre, he was getting taken down at will by him. I think mean, was able to rally, get the finish on him. So take down offense ain't the best, the striking ain't the best. Definitely nothing elite or really high level about him. I feel like um back about Umalado could beat him however he wants. I think he'll get him out in the first round. Umalado could go out there, take him down and punch him in the mouth to he submits or go to sleep. He could I'll strike him on the feet. Again, this is like a first round finish by however he wants. If he wants to go out there and be special and get a sub, he could do that. But I think he's going to end in a KO TKO. And am I saying first round is a lock? High confidence first round? Yes. High confidence KO? Yes. Lock confidence, um, Magomed Umalado to win by whatever he wants. That's what it is. So, But I'm going first round TKO for Magomed Umalado. And again, I don't know if it's going to be a case of going to knock him out on the feet or on the ground. Maybe a combination of both. But either way, I think it's going to be a first round TKO for Magomed Umalado. Just a matter of fact, if he, matter of does he want to do on the feet or does he want to do the ground? But either way, a first round KO, TKO for Magomed Umalatov. So in this one, I have Magomed Umalatov via first round TKO. 